welcome. This is Sherry from Playing with Black Dog Designs. Nice to see you today. I am doing my Why I Love My Happy Nietzsche Planner Tag that Jojo Zohana has brought to us. Um, took me a little bit to get around to looking at the questions and thinking about it and getting my answers down for you. So without further ado, I do need to put my glasses on because if I don't, I can't see the screen with the questions nor can I see my answers. So I hope you're all having a good day. Um, we had our granddaughter last night. Oh Lord, I've had kids every day this week. I'm exhausted, but it's fun. Um, yeah, so we took our granddaughter home. We went to lunch, had a nice lunch, and um, I figured this was a perfect time to hop on and do this challenge, this video with you because my husband and my dog are both sleeping, which means they're very quiet. And I keep wanting to look over here because that's where my red dot is, but then I have to remind myself my camera's over here. So try to look right at you. Okay, let me get, first of all, this is the current Happy Nietzsche that I am using. I do have another, another half sheet notebook, but I'm currently using this one and it's just on the rainbow discs that it came on. So let me, I've got my, if you see me looking down, my iPad is in front of me and that has, oops, come back here, Joe. That's got the questions, but I also have the half sheet with my notes. So the first question is, um, what is a happy Nietzsche? In my opinion, a happy Nietzsche is a hybrid cross between, now that's not to say this is the Foba Nietzsche, but I'm just talking about happy Nietzsche, is a hybrid of the Hoba Nietzsche Techo Weeks that is translated to a happy planner half sheet notebook. There is a little bit of difference in size. I do not have measurements here in front of me, but the if you're not familiar, and I don't have a Hobonichi, so I can't show you physically, but a Hobonichi Techo Weeks, it typically, it's a Japanese planner, Japanese planning system. Um, the left side of the page has the seven days of the week, and then the right side is typically graph paper um, that you can use to draw columns, jot down notes, um, you know, do graphs, whatever, anything you want to do on the side. Um, a lot of people track the weather on that side. There could be a weather bar. Basically, it's just sort of your week on one side and then a blank sort of a page on the right side. Now, in the happy notes, Happy Nietzsche. You can do anything you want because the pages are blank. So you can set it up if you want to mimic a Hobonichi Weeks. You can set it up exactly like a Hobonichi Weeks. You can do it different. You can put split your days up and have all seven days of the week on two pages. So that's that's the nice thing about that. But it's a more affordable version. It is a more customizable version because being on the discs, you can take your pages in and out, you can rearrange them. Um, you've got full flexibility, whatever you want to do. And the second question, why do I love my Happy Nietzsche? Um, I love the, the freedom to design what I want, the way I want it, and change it when I want it. So if, for example, one week I want to do a, let me go back here, some weeks, do a regular spread such as this, I can just do a regular spread. If I want to get, 
creative and make Dutch doors, for example. I can do it like this, where I can make these smaller pages that flip. On mine, I made them days of the week. You could make them trackers. So you, I mean, the possibilities are really endless. So that's what I like about the Happy Nietzsche is because I like the portability of the planner itself, or I shouldn't say the planner, the notebook. But most of all, I like the freedom to design things the way I want them and to change it according to how I want it. I apologize for any glare that there might be in my glasses, but it is from my lighting and I can't see without them, at least up close. So, okay, so that's why I love my Happy Nietzsche. I just love the flexibility. Um, what do I use mine for? Um, I mostly use mine for weekly spreads. I know a lot of people have sections and um, they're using it uh, more for like a main planner, you know, like, like Jojo does, you know, she's got her sectioned off. Um, I'm currently in multiple planners. So at this point, I just do mine for weekly spreads. Um, uh, but the possibilities are endless. You know, you could use it for trackers. You could use it for anything that doesn't necessarily run around in your catch-all planner if that is not your main catch-all planner. But that's what I use mine for most of the time. And I do sort of go back and forth between my mini and my Happy Nietzsche. To me, they're kind of the same, um, but oftentimes I'll have them both with me, but I don't want to repeat like say, you know, have a weekly setup and write the same exact thing in my mini that I do in my Happy Nietzsche. So a lot of people have chosen, excuse me, have chosen, you know, the Happy Nietzsche versus the mini. So right now it's just, it's just a matter of um, what works best for you, really. Um, and why did I start my Happy Nietzsche? I started mine because it reminded me of my bullet journal, but with more flexibility. Um, I love my bullet journals. I still use them and I still love them, but you know, it's, you can't take the pages in and out. So I just like the fact that I can do anything in my Happy Nietzsche that I could do in a bullet journal, but I can move things around, I can take things out, I can put things in, I can do the same virtual thing with more flexibility. So that's why I started mine. Um, and because it just makes me happy. Half sheets make me happy. I don't know why, but they do. There's just something about half sheets that just sort of make you feel like happy inside. I don't know, I don't know what it is. Um, yeah, so, you know, no, really no makeup or hair today. It's like 90 something degrees here today. So um, I just came on like I am, this is me in my craft room. You could walk in my house and this is probably <laughs> how you'd find me every day t-shirt, shorts, barefoot, craft room. Um, so finally, back to the question. Sorry, I have to keep looking. I wanna make sure I get the question correct. Um, what advice would you give someone just starting or thinking about starting a Happy Nietzsche? Um, I would say just do it. Just try it. You know, if you don't have access to one, make something. You know, if you can, make your own. If you can purchase a half sheet notebook, purchase one and just try it. You know, it's your, it's your, like any planner. Um, it's your planner. It's your Happy Nietzsche. It's your notebook. You do what works for you. Make your notebook work for you. You don't work for it. So if it doesn't bring you joy, then maybe a different system is better suited to you. But if it makes you happy and you're happy, like when I go in and I plan in my in my Happy Nietzsche, it makes me happy and I, I look forward to it. Um, 
you know, I go, who, what kind of Dutch doors am I going to do today? Or, you know, what am I inspired to do? You could use it for doodling. You could use it for drawing, sketching, journaling, whatever. But I would just say, just start. It's like any planner system or any journal or anything else that you do, try it. If it doesn't work for you, it doesn't work. You know, a lot of people don't do the happy Nietzsche's. Um, they're just strictly planners or journals and that's fine. You know, do, do what works for you, but that's the advice I would give to somebody just starting, just try it. The nice thing about the happy Nietzsche is it's not a big investment. You know, it's hard to pay $60 or $65 or something like that for something you don't even know if you're gonna use. And if it's not in your budget, you know, that's a lot of money on something you may or may not even like or use. But, you know, at least with the half notes, uh, notebooks, they're not that expensive. I don't remember what I paid for mine, but it seems to me they're under $10 or right around there. So, you know, even if nothing else, if you get it and you don't like it, it's perfect for notes. Just use it for grocery lists, use it for notes, use it throw it in your car and just use it for notes if you're out and about but just give it a try give it a try and um, as I said if you can't if you can't source them or you can't find them just make one you Joe jo Zahana um, has lots of videos she has great ideas on how to make them you can take simple this is a small piece of paper because it's for a different project I'm working on um, so this would be a very small one, <laughs> but you know, you can take a couple pieces of cardstock, laminate them, punch the holes in them. You don't even have to have a happy planner punch. I don't, I just punched my hand. <coughs> um, and if you can't laminate it, she, uh, Jojoza has a video that shows you how to do it with packing tape, just to, you know, make your cover, um, like, you know, water resistant and usable. Um, so there's a lot of different options. Um, and you can try different sizes, you know, maybe, maybe you'd rather have something more the size of a traditional happy, um, Hobonichi, I mean, you know, which is a little bit smaller. Maybe that works better for you. So you could customize it. You can make it any size you want. It doesn't have to be the size of the half notes, um, half sheet notebook, but if you use the happy planner one, that's the size you have. So anyway, I think that is all I have to say on that. I know I will continue to use mine um, and it may be for a weekly spread one week. It may be something I decide another week I wanna practice lettering in. So you're not stuck with anything you don't want. You can be as creative as you want um, I hope this gave some inspiration or guidance to um, anybody out there that's considering getting um, a half sheet notebook and or making their own, but just give it a try. Give it a try and then um, if you do, show us some pictures. If you have a YouTube channel, show us on your YouTube channel. Um, there's lots of hashtags out there on Instagram and YouTube with half sheets. I mean, excuse me, Happy Nietzsche's, Phoba Nietzsche's. Look on Pinterest for uh, inspiration, Instagram, as I said. Um, but yeah, just start one and you will be happy. I hope. Anyway, I have got to go because I have to get into my Happy Nietzsche and do some work. And I've got a couple other projects I plan on working on this afternoon and videoing. So um, yeah, everybody take care. Thanks for watching. Thanks for spending, you know, a few minutes of your day with me. And I wish you all a wonderful, wonderful weekend and a very safe, healthy and happy 4th of July. And I'll see you next time. Bye.